Hello everyone. Okay, today's topic is 3.4 process of absorption and transportation of digested food and defecation. Like the towel, the wall of our small intestine has millions of fine projections called villi. This increases the surface area for the process of absorption of digested food. The surface of the small intestine has many folds to add to the surface area and increase the absorption rate of the products of digestion. As you can see, the wall of the villus is very thin. It is one cell thick to increase the rate of absorption. The function of the blood vessels in the small intestine is to transport nutrients to all parts of the body. During the absorption, the small sized nutrients can go through the wall of small intestine into the blood capillaries and it will be transported by the blood to the cells. The undigested food that is larger cannot go through the small intestine wall. This is why effective digestion is very important. Lacteal absorbs digested fat in the villi of the small intestine. The lacteal transfers it into the lymphatic system and then to the blood circulatory system. The food that is digested and absorbed into a villus needs to reach the cells of our body. So the molecules that are absorbed into the villus will undergo assimilation process. Assimilation is a process of distributing the end products of digestion for the use of the cells in our body. How our body uses the end products of digestion? So the first one is glucose. It is used to produce energy. Amino acid is used to form components of cells and fatty acid and glycerol combine to form fat which is used as heat insulator and to protect our internal organs. All these three systems work together to ensure the digested food molecules will reach the cells of our body. First, digestive system will break down large and complex particles of food into small and simple molecules so that they can be absorbed into the villi. Second, the blood circulatory system will transport small and simple molecules to the cells of our body. And the last one is assimilation. In assimilation, end products are distributed for formation of new cells, respiration and also the regulation of our body temperature. These processes involve in the assimilation of digested food. Okay guys, what happens to the food that is not absorbed by the small intestine? Yes, the undigested food and food that is not absorbed by the small intestine such as fibers, waste secretions of the digestive tract, dead cells and water will move into the large intestine. While moving through the large intestine, water and minerals are reabsorbed into the bloodstream. This makes the unabsorbed and undigested food to become solid waste called feces. Feces are stored temporarily in the rectum before being eliminated through the anus. The process of elimination of feces from the body is called defecation. After listening to the explanations, can you relate the function of digestive system, blood circulatory system, and respiratory system? Air is taken in by our respiratory system. The oxygen in the air passes into our circulatory system and will be transferred to our body cells. The digested system takes in food and breaks it down. Then the circulatory system sends the nutrients to all parts of the body. If one body system did not interact with the other system, it would be hard for the body to perform its important functions. Okay, now to test your understanding, you can answer formative practice 3.4 and discuss your answers with your teacher and also your friends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye and Assalamualaikum.